Hello and welcome everyone to another InventRight.com TV show. Check out our website, InventRight.com, click on coaching, learn more about our coaching and mentoring program. But now, let's get to the topic. Why is licensing better than Shark Tank? Licensing is better than Shark Tank. You heard it right here, guys. And Stephen and I are going to tell you why it's better than Shark Tank. Oh okay. my good <laughs> lord, Andrew, you, you can't say that. Oh, you can. Oh, you can. And I will. And we're going to explain why. Okay? Okay. So Go first ahead. of all, a lot of us like that show. It's a lot of fun. Right? It's a fun show to watch. Um, I'm going to tell you about what Shark Tank is, and then I'm going to tell you what licensing is, and you're going to be like, oh, I never thought about it that way. All right? Okay. So, All right. Shark Tank, is game. A, Shark Tank is a TV show. It's primarily for entertainment. Their main goal of the show, they didn't start that show to license your products. They started the show to sell advertising and provide entertainment. Okay? Now, what you get when you get on that show is you get, everybody thinks, oh, I just need the money. Right? If I just have the money, everything will fall into place. All right? So you got this investor, the shark. They're going to give you the money. Right? Okay, so that's one thing you get. What are you really getting if you get the money? You're starting a company, a one product company from scratch. Right? Okay. So you have this one product company. They have you the money. They're going to run you into the ground, maybe, you know, with working, you know, doing all the work or taking a big percentage or what have you. Do you think a retailer really cares that you were on Shark Tank? Because three weeks later, the consumers have forgotten about it most of the time. Okay, so they don't retailers they don't like one skew one product companies. Okay, and you're running the company. You're spent doing a lot, 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 a lot of work to make this happen. Okay, now okay, so that's Shark Tank. You you get the money from the shark. You have to start this one skew one product company. You have to run the company, right? A lot of retailers after a period of time the show is forgotten. You know you don't have the manufacturer in there all the time on top of the, the, the retailer with the relationships, right? You don't have like 200 reps for this XYZ company that you license to in there maintaining that relationship with Walmart, making sure the prices are down, all that. You're this new startup company that doesn't know what the heck you're doing. And Okay, all right. Okay. Now you have licensing. Okay, wait a minute, stop. Now, let me talk about my view of this. Okay. Because it's, it's a little different than Andrew's. It's pretty much the same, but it's a little different. Different take. He just has to be different, just now, for the number, sake number of being one, different. Number one, <laughs> I used to watch Shark Tank. I don't watch it so much anymore because it's the same format I'm seeing over and over again. But it's a good show. It's very entertaining. You learn a lot. Inter what did I say? It's very entertaining. <laughs> The producer of the Shark Tank said years ago, look, if a great product comes across my desk, but the guy that started the company or pitching the idea, if he's not TV ready or entertaining enough, I'm not going to take it. Makes sense. I don't blame him. Okay, so Andrew's right. They're selling advertisement. Okay, but still, you, you get the chance to pitch. You get the chance to learn about what these sharks want. Okay, so there's some really good information being But here's the, here's the thing, Steve, I don't care what the sharks want because it's not the best deal for the inventor. I, I, I know it's not, but what it does, it is educating all of us a little bit. That's what I like about it's, it. Now, yeah. not really. Gonna, but but it, it is. But what, I'm, what I want to add to is this. Your chances of getting on that show your chances of hooking up with the shark that's actually going to, you know, get involved in it a lot, your chances of all that is pretty small. In fact, it's so small that I wouldn't put all my eggs in that basket. I just wouldn't do it. I, I, I think that you need to do a lot of things. And Andrew's right. It's about entertainment. It's about starting a business. It's about raising capital. It's about all that. And everybody thinks it's a money problem. It's not a money problem. It's a knowledge problem. Do I even want to do that? Mm -hmm. Even on crowdfunding, it's the same thing. I've got this great idea. I'm going to put it on Kickstarter. I'm going to raise this money. Then I'm going to start a business because I don't have any money. But what the inventor was really all about, Stephen, is excited about the product. They didn't realize they didn't really want to run a business. Andrew's right. It's not about 
it's not a money issue, it's a knowledge issue. And yeah. what do you really want to do? And, and what Andrew's going to tell you is speed to market by licensing it is finding that perfect partner, like well, that perfect but, shark. But let's, let's, so the, the title of the show is Why Licensing is Better Than Shark Tank. So let's deliver why that is. So when you license to this large company, they have unlimited unlimited money for a product that sells well. These are large companies. Let's say it's a hardware product. They're in Lowe's and Target and Walmart and Home Depot and Orchard Supply and Ace Hardware. They're in all those places. If that product's selling well, they're funded. They have the cash flow to fund any product at any level. Okay? okay. So that's okay. huge. So that's more than what the sharks have. Two, Good. they have an existing workforce. They have existing Manufacturers reps, advertising people, manufacturing, distribution. When you do on Shark Tank, you're, all that is created from scratch. They have all that in place. So they have existing money for a product that's doing well, unlimited. They have an existing workforce. But here's the biggest thing that you don't get with Shark Tank, distribution. To think that, oh, well, I, because I was on TV, now that will get distribution everywhere. No, 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 no. So if you license to this large company and they have, let's say it's a hammer. And they, they're selling their hammers in Home Depot, Lowe's, Target, Walmart. You know, when they put it in those places, they know how to maintain those relations, bring the price down, do all this. Where, where you're starting this one SKU, one product company from scratch with the retailers, okay. they don't want to keep you on the books. And you're like, oh, well, I was on Shark Tank. I was on Shark Tank five years ago. They could care less. Okay, now wait a minute. I've got to defend Shark Tank for just a minute. And because there are some people out there that have done extremely well, very teeny, but there's a gentleman, Aaron Kraus. Maybe it's Andrew's brother, I don't know. <laughs> not, my, not related to me. Um, Aaron Kraus did the Scrub Daddy. Yeah. You guys, you've, everybody's seen it. I just saw on Facebook, they, that product has sent $100 million. It's great. It's great, man. But, but what Andrew's saying is, that chance was very slim. One guy did it. He set up a company. He had to finance it. I mean, this guy's not a rookie guy either. You guys, what's really amazing, Aaron Krauss, when you get to know him, this guy's not a rookie at this. This is not his first time. He utilized guy, Shark Tank. He leveraged and figured this out. This guy you know. leveraged Shark yeah. Tank. He's not a rookie. So it does happen. He got, you know, I just, Andrew, you, you know, everything you said is correct. But, when people see guys like Aaron Kraus and some other guys make it, they think they can make it too. It's a very small percent. Well, and, and, and the reason why it's a smaller percent too, you're going on a show, you've got one pitch. When you're licensing, again, another reason why licensing is better than Shark Tank, I'm going to say it again, is if you pitch 30 potential licensees, 30 companies that sell in, in hardware and big box stores, if you got that new hammer or whatever your product is, you have 30 chances for success. You go on Shark Tank, you have one chance. Well, first off, they have huge numbers of people that apply. Only a certain amount get on the show. You know, anyway, there's, there's just, it's a TV show. Now, with that said, I think the show really encourages people to work on their projects. I think the show does a great job of that. The way that you pitch on there is you would never, ever pitch, do emotional pitches, all this stuff that they do sometimes on Shark Tank to a potential licensee. That would be the worst thing to do. It works for the show, but that's because it needs to be entertaining. No, that's true. So it, it, it that, misinforms people with certain aspects of it. And the one... Yeah, but, yeah. but Andrew, you're, you're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. You just... <laughs> okay. But, 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 but... but, but. but. Shark Tank is also, like you said, it's educating people to get off the couch and actually do stuff. But Absolutely. Also, oh my God, it motivates so many people to finally get something done. I have but to you give. know what I like even more? Oh yeah. Sometimes the sharks come up and say, hey, don't start a business. License it. License it. Yeah, that's true. They're starting to say that a little bit. We, we owe them a huge thank you for that. And the inventors do too because that is the right information for most inventors. Most people, Andrew, that come on this show should never in their wildest dreams ever start a business. Yeah, but they make for good entertainment when you see that well, the, the, they the, the don't viewers have the knowledge. They don't have the ability, you know, one particular person, Judy Edwards, that has a squatty potty, which I interviewed for Inc. last week. Uh, she's done great with this product, but that's like so, so few. It's so few. And they, you know what they've done? They've leveraged the, 
Shark Tank visibility. They leveraged all of it to go forward. But that being said, it's cost money, it's cost time, they've made all the mistakes. And guess what? They're, they're in the business now of fighting the, the knockoffs. They're in the business of defending it, getting it out there. It's a full-time job. So if you're real creative, right, you guys, you want to really increase your chances of success, right? And you really want to, your power of a company to help you because of speed to market is the best protection you yeah. can have, even over patents, but which let, Andrew let's talked be, about. Let's be fair to Shark Tank. <clears throat> so I'm saying licensing is better than Shark Tank. It's kind of comparing apples to oranges. You know, Shark Tank is a TV show. It's not a major okay. method for anybody. It's not the I, method to, to get your product out there in the marketplace. It just isn't. I had to, I had to protect the sharks. What's that? I had to protect the sharks yeah, yeah, yeah. against you. Okay, but it's apples to oranges. Licensing for the independent product developer, <clears throat> inventor, person with an idea, it's going directly to 20 or 30 companies using all their money all their okay, workforce, okay. all their existing distribution. It is a lot sexier than Shark okay. Tank. Now, it makes for bad TV, but Shark Tank makes, you okay. don't need an investor. You get it all wrapped into one when you license. So you Andrew, dramatically, I'm sold. It, I'm sold. All right, good, good. I hope the viewership is sold too. But at the same time, don't get us wrong. Steve and I like that show. I don't really watch it anymore. It is a good show, and it motivates people. Well, now, now he's backpedaling a little bit no, here. No, no, because I, I, well, you and I, we met, we met Damon, one of the judges at the licensing expo. Super nice guy. I haven't met anybody They're great else. guys. So but realize, you guys, it's, it's TV, it's entertainment. If you want to do it, think twice along and hard about it. Maybe it's right for you, maybe it's not. But what Andrew says, if you really want to increase your chances of success and use the power of a big company, that could protect you, speed to market, has everything you need, think about licensing. Definitely, definitely. If you like the show, get down below, give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, check out inventright.com, learn more about our coaching and mentoring program. Take care, everybody, and keep inventing. Licensing's better than Shark Tank. <laughs> <laughs> See you.